So hi guys, uh, welcome back to you uh, in my other video. And this video is about you know that if you want to study in Italy, your master degree or PhD, so, you know, so you ask me a lot of questions related to that. So uh, Rabani, I think can you please give us some uh, examples after you have completed your B form in India or Form B, you know? Uh, so what are the courses are available in the high demand in Italy? And what are basically what are the requirements to get admission of for this course? For, to uh, suffice the requirement for uh, pursuing education abroad uh, requires two things. One is your, you need to be a graduate, uh, uh, like any graduate works, I mean, BSc uh, for three years or else be pharmacy for four years. So the requirement is uh, like you can also come to Italy after intermediate education after your board of intermediate education and also if you want to uh, start up uh, immediately uh, because there are certain courses uh, for students so uh, if you they, if they're willing to study pharmacy over here in italy they can take up uh, after their intermediate education which is more profound than people's people who are you know uh, willing to take up bachelor courses over here uh, take, take up master courses uh, um, I, I mean so you are suggesting uh, yes, but one, but one question. You are suggesting that after 12, if someone is coming to study in Italy, that will be a, uh, more beneficial compared to you complete your B form or Farm B than you are going to Italy. Exactly, exactly. Because uh, usually people do not uh, uh, seek these type of uh, beneficiaries. Uh, people, they think uh, after, you know, studying their bachelor's education for four years, uh, they need to at least have one year of uh, for work uh, uh, to you know surface their application more uh, strongly to, to apply for a good university over here in Italy uh, for uh, you know deemed to be a be applicable for public universities here in Italy. Uh, for for those students, once they come over here uh, and if they want to work as a, a pharmacist, uh, they will face barriers rather than these students facing barriers if they start up their basic pharmacy education over here in for you know five years then uh, they will directly uh, be into uh, job roles after this in, in this in their sixth year and uh, they will directly be also having permanent residence uh, I mean, like they will get prs they will get substantial benefits uh, for starting six years over here they are residing all, almost and uh, uh, in, the, in their six year they will be earning around an, an average of 49000 to you know 92000 euros so uh, the average pay scale is around somewhere around 71000 so uh, oh, I, 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 it is uh, something so, like that so the bunny actually doing medical science like medical doctor, pharmacy, nursing, dentistry, you know, in some yeah. uh, which one is the highly demanded in Italy? Are uh, someone is a after 12, if someone is going to do pharmacy or nursing or medicine, dentistry or lab technician, physiotherapy? Which it, one it you depends, can? It depends, on, it, it, it depends on the students. Uh, there is an international medical entrance test which happens uh, and that is being recognized by some certain universities here in Italy. And uh, if you are willing to take up those and uh, are sufficient the exam requirement, uh, you will be, uh, uh, you know, a prospective uh, student of that uh, faculty, like uh, people studying MBBS, because usually we see that uh, people studying MBBS of, uh, up, uh, from India uh, abroad are usually in Ukraine, Russia, and other uh, Kyrgyzstan in these countries. But uh, yeah. uh, why not countries in Europe? Uh, is what I would like to, you know, suggest people to, to take up opportunities like these, and you will be having benefits. You will be having uh, uh, scholarships. You will be having a lot of uh, other uh, uh, things. Uh, I mean, like you don't need to fund a lot of money, but at the same time, you will be getting benefits after five years, five to six years. That it, it works like a mutual policy sometimes. Sometimes. To, to Rabani, um, actually, most of the universities in Italy, the language, the study is mostly in Italian. You know. So that will be some yes, problem yes, because yes. Uh, we want like in English uh, Indian students. So is there a, uh, I hear there is some university they are offering some program in English so the Indian student can go there. It, it depends on the favorability of uh, students' uh, preference because uh, if students want to you know succeed uh, and uh, want to have uh, uh, a brighter future, I would suggest if they are starting early, that is good. 
and uh, if they are starting early i mean in from the stage of uh, uh, board of intermediate education they pass that and then if they are looking forward for a, for a better project, they can uh, uh, study in italian because they are easy to mold and easy to learn to learn uh, yes exactly yeah they can they can that focus but students who have passed their uh, uh, you know graduation and uh, this thing uh, they are you know molded in a way that they want to work they want to explore in the real world and then want to experience that so for those students i would advise you them to use application for linguistics and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, improve their language ability and if they are able to do that uh, they will be able to you know not face barriers in terms of finding work over here uh, rather be it part time job full time job professional job unprofessional job skilled or unskilled so that doesn't matter but for the time being if when they are studying over here if they are able to you know help their own finances help their own uh, you know stay help their own uh, 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 a regular uh, uh, meet so uh, that, that that is a good thing and uh, yeah. usually students fail doing that yeah so rabani can you give is there any scholarship for after some someone is uh, uh, going like uh, uh, government university they have given some scholarship for the student or the study at free in, in italy or the interested student has to pay the fee uh, these st studies are you know free of cost Uh, for uh, certain universities, uh, and they, uh, I mean, uh, studies are not free of cost, of course, but uh, uh, the university charges some amount, and uh, that is being compensated by uh, the governing body over here. I mean, like if I, I I'm, I'm currently in Emilia, Emilia Romagna region of Italy. So over here, uh, Emilia Romagna means E R uh, G O. So. Uh, Er Ergo is the governing authority of Emilia Romagna, and they uh, compensate the scholarship for uh, the public universities in this area, in this region. So, likewise, uh, there are uh, other regions like in Milano, like in Roma, like in uh, you know. So we can uh, say, I mean, uh, on average, we can say mostly for students it is free, but like the state government or a particular like local governing body, they pay behalf of the student. This is for international students yeah, yeah. also. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For example, like uh, uh, if a student is, uh, if an X Y Z student is entering into, you know, studying master's course, which is called Laurea Maestral over here in Italy, and if he's studying that, uh, he doesn't need to pay a rupee extra uh, of, of his uh, university fees, and also he will be getting scholarships if the student is able to surpass the the required amount of credits in his, uh, you know, curriculum. so if he is you know a uh, uh, good student he uh, the government you know focuses the, these people and gives extra money to them in terms of if you have the student is you know getting the gold medal you will be getting scholarships for that extra scholarships so there are benefits if you study harder if you study smarter you will be uh, a successful student in terms of getting those scholarships and those revenues Okay, so um, uh, what what are the master degree is available? Uh, especially the high demand, the student can get job something. You know, someone is just B form or Farm B from India and he want to pursue master degree. So master degree is basically one year or two year. What is that? Yeah. Um, masters courses. Uh, unfortunately, here uh, there are uh, there are no such courses for one year. Uh, there are no courses here as in called PG diploma courses, but you directly have a master course which is called Laurea Maestra here in Italy. And uh, these are uh, before entering into these courses, uh, if you are recognizing your foreign uh, educational title, and uh, so automatically the title becomes more uh, recognized by the Italian government, and you will be able to find work easily. so the the courses or the programs here in demand would be economics uh, uh like economics in the sense health economics uh, yeah. health policy and uh, so these are the courses which are uh, they uh, I mean the university has its campus placements in uh, WHO UNESCO uh, and uh, you know uh, selecting uh, uh, recruiting bodies from uh, unesco and who come to your university for uh, selecting students for these particular courses okay uh, uh, here you know there's a h e o r 
health economy is outcome this way this is very no highly demanded course right now even in australia even in the us uk you know high income countries if you are going so lot of jobs uh, 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 you can find you know and uh, so is there any possibility for phd the scholarship or something or is there any exam they have to uh, complete to get admission especially like ielts or something for it english to qualify no not required not not, not required uh, uh, ielts is not required for universities over here uh, but uh, certain universities uh, like my university here in uh, which is called alma mater studio university of bologna uh so uh, here uh, they require a bit of an I, uh, ielts score and you know you don't need to be uh, worried about an ielts score if you're having an ielts score of 6 6.5 uh, if you're able to you know uh, at least conversate uh, better in english and if you're able to you know comprehend uh, comprehend your language better then uh, uh, ielts score is not required so you know when when we are going to complete their master degree or phd and after there is a job search visa as well so one year visa you will get again you know so if you are going to go for master degree two year then you will get one additional year visa so you can find your job you know and then once you got job then company will give you the sponsorship and later then you can go for it that is residency pathway like you know if you are here you know, as i already told you we already are discussing in our class uh, uh, previous video so is there anything that you want to say at the end of this video to the our our real student they want to uh, pursue education in it i i i would like to advise uh, students who are willing to uh, show their interest in various fields uh, not limiting to pharmacy which is my uh, that uh, try and learn everything Uh, I mean, uh, it is not possible to learn everything, but it is possible to learn at least one thing a day. If you are able to skill yourself with that one thing, if you are able to improvise and imbibe that one thing in your life and practice it, uh, if you are able to uh, improve that one thing in your life which you uh, skilled at, then uh, work on your strengths, and uh, uh, that will take you from one place to another. But uh, for for this, I would like you to you know show focus and. Uh, be more uh, aware of the opportunities or uh, there are a uh, number of opportunities available for students over here in italy and in europe if you uh, do not find anything according to your taste and uh, structure if you are not able to you know meet ends with regard to any uh, uh, ambition of yours and aspirations you have you can move to another country there are 28 countries here in european union so uh, you can find uh, uh, countries like switzerland like france germany iceland finland norway people say norway finland uh, they want to but here if you are going to any member state you will be able to you know Uh, uh go explore those states and if you are able to find anything more interesting according to uh, interesting things according to your demeanor if you are uh, finding anything which uh, you know matches your aspiration you can stay over there you can shift your pace from italy to this thing but shifting pace from canada to uh, uh, let's say australia is very difficult if, if uh, because one is being already recognized uh, as a pharmacist in, is in uh, in australia if he is wanting to uh, go and work in canada it is very difficult because he needs to go through the again uh, evaluation examinations and other stuff so changing roles over here can be easy in european union because it is completely under one uh, uh, body which is called european union but apart from that uh, uh it is a very uh, 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 small it's not last question if someone complete master degree in italy and he is got, uh, got that uh, job search visa so on this job search visa can he move to another country for example uh, like uh, switzerland or uh, he want to search in job in switzerland yeah yeah of course of course i mean uh, you are uh, uh, this is a borderless uh, uh, continent i mean so the best we got here dosto it is like 28 countries once you are going in any any state in the europe especially when in the eu countries you can go you know to uh, to find your work uh, and your job so if you are finding if you are not finding a job in one country might be you can move to another country you know so it, it, it's like like a borderless 28 country but but if you are planning to be like australia for example you want to be a registered pharmacist here or so you cannot move 
some agriculture uh, 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 research. But Australia recognized if you are from high income country, for example, if you are a research pharmacist in US or UK or Canada, you can move to Australia without writing any exam because they are, you know, they are already, uh, those countries, they are, uh, there is no need for exam. Exams needed in Australia if you are from a low and middle income country, for example, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. If you are from this country, then you need to write exam, but those are high income countries, you need to write exam. So I think this video already is a very, very long, so I'm going to close. But if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. So maybe we can have another conversation uh, in the future based on your comments, you know. And thank you for watching this video. And thank you, Rabbani. Bye-bye. Thank you.